हेलो एवरी वन आई एम गणेश श्रीधर हेगडे आई हैव परसिडेड माई पी एच डी इन फिजिक्स दैट टू इन पर्टिकुलरली थर्मो इलेक्ट्रिक्स अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ डॉक्टर अश्वत्थ नारायण प्रभु एट मणिपाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एफिलेटेड टू मणिपाल अकेडमी ऑफ हायर एजुकेशन आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माई मास्टर्स इन फिजिक्स एट फर्गुसन कॉलेज पुणे विच इज एफिलेटेड टू सावित्रीबाई पुले पुणे यूनिवर्सिटी आई हैव कंप्लीटेड माई बी एस सी इन फिजिक्स केमिस्ट्री एंड मैथ्स एट डॉक्टर ए वाड़ियो कॉलेज ऑफ आर्ट्स एंड साइंस कुमटा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू गिव द लेक्चर ऑन द डिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ द लाइट एट द सिंगल स्लिट सो लेट्स हैव अ लुक डिफ्रैक्शन ऑफ द लाइट एट द सिंगल स्लिट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय डिफ्रैक्शन डिफ्रैक्शन इज द बेंडिंग ऑफ लाइट अराउंड द शार्प कॉर्नर ऑफ एन ऑब्स्टेकल वन द लाइट इज इंसिडेंट ऑन अ स्लिट विद अ साइज कंपेरेबल टू द वेड लेंथ ऑफ लाइट एंड अल्टरनेट dark and bright fringes can be observed this phenomena is called single slit diffraction in other way when the light is incident on a sharp edge of an obstacle a faint illumination can be found within the geometrical shadow of the obstacle this suggests that the light bends around a sharp corner the effect becomes significant when the light passes through an aperture having a dimension comparable to the wavelength of light when the light is incident on a slit with a size comparable to the wavelength of light an alternating dark and bright pattern can be observed this phenomena is called the single slit diffraction consider a slit having the distance a which should be comparable to the wavelength of light and this is the screen here c is the principal axis of the light which is passing through the slit which can be represented by the imaginary line which will intersect at the point called o so o is a central maxima which i have shown you here o ab is the opening of the width of the slit so next when the light is incident to the slit it will produce the diffraction in the edge of the slit that means we have one light ray passing through the a and other one which is passing through the diffracting at the b so here we can put a principal axis as c in between two rays consider it as p so this could be the distance y so this is about dark fringes dark diffraction pattern and this is about central maxima so considering this we have to give the name of the distance as d in between the slit and the source and draw a perpendicular line from a to b which called which is called to be n and it can be perpendicular to the b p so it is a right angle triangle considering this right angle triangle we can have the angle theta here which can be represented here and it is a n b which can be considered here then we have to find out the path differences path difference here we are considering as 
BP as one of the length minus AP. So, in this case where AP is equal to NP, it can be comparable and there is a negligible difference in between that. So, we can consider as BP minus NP. Hence, the path difference can be differentiated as the P and P will get cancelled. Hence, the BN will be there. So, considering the triangle A, B, N, we can write it as sin theta is equal to BN by A. A is the distance between the slit width and the BN is the distance of the between the BP that is the distance between the this point and the this point. Okay. So, we can consider this triangle. So, later we can move the A to the right and left hand side and we will get the BN. So, this is the value for the path difference at the central maxima which is the bright fringe next next we have to consider the condition for secondary maxima which is also called bright fringe bright so the point p here we can note it down as p point point p can be observed as 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 bright fringe point when the path difference is 3 lambda divided by 2 and 5 lambda divided by 2 and 7 lambda divided by 2. So, here we can consider in the equation A sin theta is equal to 2n plus 1 into lambda by 2. So, this is the equation for the condition for the secondary maxima where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 which are the normal natural numbers. Next, condition for secondary minima we can write it as lambda 2 lambda 3 lambda etc. So, the finally the equation will be sin theta a sin theta is equal to n lambda where n is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is the formula for the conditions for secondary minima. Once again we can revise the things. Here in this diagram we have a slit of width a having the name ab and which is having the middle point c and the, uh, the light rays is, light rays are passing through this slit the slit length is comparable to the wavelength of the light and the principal maxima of the c is passing through the uh, passing through the center which which will be, will be given the name as o which is called central maxima of bright fringe and here the light which is diffracted through the edge of a has a straight line till to reach the point p and here also the b 
the bended light which is passing through the passing through that b and reaches the p here also we can draw straight line which is of the principal axis for the point a b we can write it as c and we will draw, draw the perpendicular from a to n a to n the the name will be given as n and here is a perpendicular and this this will be a triangle so this triangle is represented here a n b which is a right angle triangle uh, we can put the sin law after putting the sin law we will get the path difference the path difference will be given as bp minus ap where bp is the distance between b and p here and ap is the distance which is from a here to here and this distance of ap is nearly equal to np hence we can consider that bp minus np where ap is approximately equal to np hence we can consider this as bn so considering the triangle abn which is right which is a right angle triangle uh, the sin theta is equal to bn divided by a where opposite side divided by hypotenuse is the law a sin theta is equal to bn which is a central maxima of the bright fringes and also we can consider we can consider the conditions for the secondary maxima of the bright fringes the point p can be observed as the bright fringe point when the path difference is 3 lambda divided by 2 5 lambda divided by 2 7 lambda divided by 2 and the conditions can be written as a sin theta is equal to 2n plus 1 lambda divided by 2 where n is equal to 1 2 3 4 which is a no normal natural numbers next coming to the conditions for secondary maxima which can be given as lambda 2 lambda and 3 lambda here the secondary maxima means which is the dark fringes hence we can take it as a sin theta is equal to n lambda where n is equal to 1 2 3 4 uh, let me solve one problem of CET regarding the diffraction of the light at the single slit in this question the frown of a diffraction at a single slit is performed using 700 nanometer of light if the first dark fringe appears at an angle of 30 degree find the slit width so using the diffraction formula for single slit for nth dark fringe okay we get the formula a sin theta is equal to n lambda so it's a dark fringe so we have taken we are taking a sin theta is equal to n lambda as uh, uh, shown in our previous derivation so lambda is equal to 700 nanometer which is equal to 700 into 10 to the power 9 meter a sin 30 degree 1 into 700 into 9 meter so a is equal to 14 into 14 into 10 raised to minus 7 meter and later we can consider it as 1400 nanometer so the slit width this is the slit width so coming to the second problem find the angular width of central maximum for front of a diffraction due to single slit of width 0 0.1 meter if the frequency of the incident light is 5 into 10 raised to 40 hertz so the solution is you have to take the formula of c by mu where c is equal to 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and the frequency is equal to 5 into 10 raised to 14 hertz here 
टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू टू लैमडा डिवाइडेड बाय ए फर्दर टू थीटा इज इक्वल टू टू सी बाय न्यू ए टू थीटा इंटू टू इंटू थ्री इंटू टेन टू दी पावर एट डिवाइडेड बाय न्यू इज फाइव इंटू टेन टू दी पावर फोर्टीन इंटू ए इज जीरो पॉइंट वन सो टोटली बाई कैलकुलेटिंग बाय वी गेट वन पॉइंट टू वन जीरो टू माइनस फोर रेडियन टू द नीट क्वेश्चन पार्ट कैलकुलेट द एंगुलर पोजिशन ऑफ द फर्स्ट मिनिमम इन फ्रॉन ऑफ अ डिफ्रैक्शन एट स्लिट ऑफ विथ टेन टू माइनस सिक्स मीटर इफ इट इज इलिमिनेटेड बाई द लाइट ऑफ वेव लेंथ फोर थाउजेंड एंगस्ट्रॉन्ग सो इन दिस केस गिवन दैट लैमडा इज इक्वल टू फोर थाउजेंड एंगस्ट्रॉन which is equal to 4000 into 10 raised to minus 10 meter the condition for minimum is is equal to a sin theta is equal to and lambda where n is equal to 1 therefore sin theta is equal to lambda by a so theta inverse is equal to sorry theta is equal to sin inverse of lambda by a is equal to by putting the values of 4000 into 10 to the power 10 divided by 10 raised to minus 6 we get the angle as degree so the angle of position for the first minimum is about 23.57 degree next we can move to the polarization of lights what do you mean by polarization the light in the form of a plane wave in space is said to be linearly polarized light is a transverse electromagnetic wave but natural light is generally unpolarized all the plane of propagation being equally probable so there are three types of polarization of lights one is linear polarization circular polarization and elliptical polarization so the coming to the linear polar polarization if the light is a plane electromagnetic wave is said to be linearly polarized the transverse electric field wave is accompanied by a magnetic field wave is illustrated in the figure where the light propagates in a single direction which is shown which is shown here by the arrow mark so it it will be in the same direction only there is no perpendicular wave or a uh, transverse wave etc so the formula is given by i is equal to i not into e raised to i k x minus omega t come to the circular circular polarization the circularly polarized light consists of two perpendicular electromagnetic planes here you can see that which is a shaded one and other one is a non shaded one so there are two kinds of electromagnetic waves with equal amplitude equal amplitude with a phase difference of 90 degree so you can observe that there is a 90 degree phase differences between the two kinds of electromagnetic waves and which is illustrated in the figure and there is a two kinds of arrow marks which represents the perpendicular nature of the uh, two wave propagations the formula is given by i is equal to i y cos k z k l minus omega t plus i x sin k z minus 
omega t plus pi. This is the formula for the or the conditions for the circular polarization. Coming to the elliptical polarization, the elliptically polarized light consists of two perpendicular waves with unequal amplitudes, which differ by the phase of 90 degree. The illustration shows right elliptically polarized lights. So here you can observe that the perpendicular waves are propagating with each other, but the amplitude is different here. But the phase difference is same as the as same is in the same as in the circular polarization. So in a summary, in the linear polarization, we have only one direction that is upper upper to the lower side that is given by the, this arrow mark. The formula is given here. In the circular polarization, we have two kinds of wave propagation. One is uh, perpendicular to the other one. So here the path difference is 90 degree and the direction of the propagation is along the perpendicular with the each other. The formula is given here or the condition is given here. The, the, while the elliptical polarization consists of two wave propagations, two types of wave propagations with uh, perpendicular to the, each other uh, with uh, the uh, different amplitudes having the path difference of 90 degree. So the formula is given here.